Set up scan to email for HP LaserJet Pro printers. You can set up the scan to email feature to adjust outgoing email options and other default scanning and email settings. This can be done by accessing the printer embedded web server, or EWS for short. Before setting up scan to email, make sure that the printer is connected to a network and you have the following information ready. Administrative access to the printer. SMTP server. SMTP port number. SMTP server authentication requirements for outgoing email messages, including the username and password used for authentication if applicable. If you do not know the SMTP server name, SMTP port number or authentication information, contact the email service provider or system administrator for this information. SMTP server names and port names are typically easy to find by doing an internet search. For example, if you have a Gmail account, you can search Gmail SMTP server name. To access the EWS, you need to obtain the printer IP address. On the home screen of the control panel, touch the white bar located at the top of the screen and slide it down. An information screen appears with the printer IP address displayed. Open a web browser, type the IP address into the URL search field, and then press enter to open the embedded web server. If a warning message appears, select the option to proceed to the website. Accessing the EWS does not harm the computer. On the EWS homepage, click General in the left navigation pane, then click Email Servers. If prompted, enter your printer password or PIN into the field and then select Sign In. The printer PIN is often found on a label located on the exterior of the printer or in the toner access area. On the Email Servers page, click the Add icon to create an email profile. Next, configure the email SMTP server settings and authentication requirements for the newly created email profile in the Add New screen. Select the appropriate email server profile from the Profile Type drop-down list. Select User-Defined Email Profile if your organization uses multiple email servers for its emails. Select SMTP Server if your organization uses one email server for all its emails. In the Display Name field, enter a name you want to display on the printer control panel when you send emails. In the Email Address field, enter an email address for sending emails. Enter the SMTP server name and SMTP port number. Set the maximum size of email to unlimited. Select the Always Use Secure Connection toggle button to enable this setting for security. If a certificate was not imported to the printer, be sure to disable Validate Certificates. Select the appropriate authentication from the Server Authentication drop-down list. Select Server does not require authentication if your email account does not require authentication. Select Server requires authentication if your email account requires authentication and then enter a username and a new password in the appropriate fields. Yahoo Mail and Microsoft Outlook are not supported as they have discontinued the app password feature. To set up scan to email using a Gmail account, a Google app password is required. This is different than a Gmail password. To create a Google app password, you need to enable a two-step verification on your Google account. Go to your Google account at myaccount.google.com. On the left pane, select Security. Under how you sign into Google, select two-step verification. Select get started, follow the on-screen instructions, and then select turn on. Scroll down to the bottom of the two-step verification page and then select app passwords. In the select device drop-down list, select the other option. Enter your printer model name or device name that you will use for the app password. Make sure to note the name used for the app password. Select Generate. Copy and paste the 16-digit app password in the password field in the EWS server requires authentication section. Select Apply. If you selected the user-defined email profile option for the email profile, select the Use Security Pin Toggle button to enable this setting. HP recommends creating a pin to secure the email profile. When a security pin is created, 
It must be entered on the printer control panel each time the profile is used to send a scan to email. Enter a four-digit PIN in the security PIN field. The security PIN must be a four-digit number. Enter the PIN again in the Confirm Security PIN field. Click the Add button to add the SMTP email server settings. Test the email server for the new email profile created. Select the checkbox for the new email profile created and then click the Test icon. Click the Test button. You will receive a message stating that the email test server was successful. To configure the default print job options, expand the Scan menu on the left-hand side of the window and select the Scan to Email option. Select the Address Field Restrictions drop-down menu and select either Users must select from Address Book or Users can type addresses from the list. Select the From drop-down menu and select either Users Address or Default From. The Users Address option will require the user to sign in and use their email address in the From field. If you chose the Default From option, then complete the Default From and Default Display Name fields. Select the drop-down menu and select either User's Address or Blank. The Blank option will leave the field blank and enable the user to specify an email recipient. In the Subject and Message fields, type the default text you would like to display for emails. Use the drop-down menus to adjust the default settings, which include Sides, Original Size, Resolution, Content Type, and Color Mode. Use the lighter-darker slider bar to increase or decrease the brightness of the output scan. Select the default file type from the drop-down menu for the type of file you use most often. You can choose from JPEG, PDF, PDFA, and TIFF. Click the File Quality drop-down menu and select a File Quality option from the list. Click the File Name Prefix drop-down menu and select a File Name Prefix to automatically add the date, time, or username before the file name. Use the File Name Preview field to view how the name will appear with the prefix. Click the File Name Suffix drop-down menu and select a File Name Prefix to automatically add the date, time, or username after the file name. Use the File Name Preview field to view how the name will appear with the suffix. Select the Orientation drop-down menu and select either Portrait or Landscape for the scan. Toggle to enable any of the user editable switches in the Options menu, which will allow the user to edit the applicable field. Select Apply to save the changes. The default settings are saved and are now visible to users when they use the Scan to Email feature from the control panel.